What's good everyone, it's Kajani with another episode of The Crafter's Corner, a video series dedicated to crafting and gathering in Final Fantasy XIV. In this video, I will go over some crafting and gathering achievements that you can work on while we wait for patch 6.2. First and foremost, it's cool to take a break from Final Fantasy XIV as patch 6.2 is set to keep us busy for a long time. I've been taking my own advice as this is the first time in about 3 years that I've been playing something other than Final Fantasy XIV. On my phone, I've been playing the mobile version of Stardew Valley which has been pretty fun to play as I listen to music in the background. On PC, I'm back to mixing lives and changing drinks, or wait. Sorry, it's mixing drinks and changing lives as I have been replaying my favorite visual novel, Valhalla. Even if you don't play visual novels, I still recommend that you check it out. It's so well written and you will fall in love with the characters ranging from a talking corgi to streaming Chan, a streamer that live streams her life 24-7, 365. You'll keep playing just to see the characters develop and interact with each other. The soundtrack fits the vibe of the world and in my opinion, it's one of the best video game soundtracks that I've ever experienced. Now I'm just replaying it just to see the other endings. I may get into other games that are currently collecting dust in my Steam account, but for now let's get back to talking about Final Fantasy XIV and some achievements that you can work on while we wait for patch 6.2. Fishing in Final Fantasy XIV is a lot of fun, and one of the best activities to engage in whenever there is downtime between patches. One of the achievements that I completed during downtime is getting the resplendent fishing rod. In order to get it, you will need to complete the achievement I caught that 7, which involves catching 1,140 fish. I know the thought of catching that many fish might have you reeling in your chair, and not gonna lie, that is a lot of fish to catch, but it's a little easier now with the additional fish that were introduced in Endwalker. With all the extra fish to catch, you won't have to worry about catching a significant amount of the rare big fish. My advice is just to focus on catching the easy fish first as you hop from zone to zone, expansion to expansion. Then when you're ready to catch the fish on timers and the rare big fish, use the website Carbuncle Plushie to help you keep track of everything until you caught enough fish to get the resplendent fishing rod. Oh, and be sure to clear out your saddlebag as it will now serve as your tackle box for all the baits that you're going to need. Overall, the whole process of getting the resplendent rod is pretty fun. It's gonna take you to places in the game that you haven't been to since you were doing MSQ. While you're fishing, be sure to look around and appreciate the game because it can be really beautiful at times. When you are done, you will most likely be hooked on fishing in Final Fantasy XIV and want to catch every other remaining fish in your fishing log, which isn't a bad thing, but just be sure to pace yourself. Speaking of being hooked on fishing, let's hop onto the floating casino to do some ocean fishing. Here we're going to check out other fishing achievements that you can work on while we wait for patch 6.2. If you score 10,000 points, you can get the highly coveted Hybotus mount, one of the best mounts in the game in my humble opinion. If you want a challenge and can assemble a crew to help you out, you can work towards the various achievements revolving around catching a boatload of specific fish. Each achievement is gonna come with its own title for you to flex. For a solo achievement, there is one that you can get by scoring 20,000 points in an ocean fishing voyage. You're going to need 2 to 3 spectrals and a healthy serving of luck to get this achievement. It does however come with a fitting title, Master of the Sea, that you can use to let people know that you are really about that fishing life. If you want to log in and do a little crafting and gathering, there are a couple achievement minions that you can pick up that were introduced as part of the Ishgard restoration. You can get the Lalladal minion by completing the crafting in the air achievement, which involves getting 50,000 points towards your skyward score with any disciple of land. You don't have to gather the mats if you don't want to, as a lot of them are cheap on the market board. You can get the Malone Achievement Minion by getting 50,000 points towards your Skyward Score with any Disciple of Land. Getting the Malone Minion is going to involve... 
it's going to involve going back into the diadem. Yeah, I know, diadem is not the funnest place to be in Final Fantasy XIV, but it isn't that bad when you have a playlist to vibe to. Maybe featuring a song, kinda like what's playing right now? You know, something that can help pass the time while you hit some rocks or catch some fish. With the right tunes, it can be bearable and you will hit 50k before you know it. Keep in mind that if you are trying to get the Malone minion, please use your Fisher because scoring for turn-ins for Botanist and Miner are downright disrespectful for the amount of work that you have to put in. So those were a couple achievements that you can work on while we wait for patch 6.2. Let me know in the comments how you are spending your time while we wait. Are you chasing achievements? Are you taking a break? Playing other games? Let me know. That's all I got for this video. Until next time. Peace.